Andrew McGahan for Severe MMA here at the Kuma Fighting Championship standing alongside Nathan Kianaway. And Nathan, I have to say, fight of the night so far, without a doubt. Back and forth exchanges. It seemed like if ever there's been an example of a fighter maybe getting too cocky and losing himself and not maybe not underestimating you yeah. too much and got caught, it was shown tonight. Yeah, that's his status. I'm not saying nothing bad about him, but all the guys, you know, up there, they're, they're in their faulty things and they they, they know they're good, you know what I mean? That way, it's not that they're cocky, they just know yeah. they put the work in, they know they're good fighters, but there's, uh, there's other good fighters out there too. You, you know showed tonight mean? basics, fundamentals are the most yeah. important things. You got out of a couple of uh, tight submissions as well. For, to be honest, I thought the triangle was on. I thought you were going to sleep at, the, at one point. Yeah, that's the guys, uh, Mickey Doyle and Barry Joe, the FR, like Ronan. And yeah. You're getting, if you can get out of guys' triangles, really, you should, you should get out. You know what to do, you know. Drop your shoulder, watch for the armbar in case he doesn't armbar and get that bit of space. Yeah. I was uh, fine, 100%, just wanted to gas his legs out a bit. In fairness to Ross, though, all respect, I believe he took the fight short notice, moves up two yeah. weight classes. I at least, at least, just don't have it in him. Yeah. And he, he hits very hard, you know that he, there's a reason why he plays third in the world, you know what yeah. I mean? And the only guy to play hard on him is France. And, you know, he, he, won he, he won the whole yeah. thing, you know, that's the... It's the level it is for a player to yeah. And just one more thing on Ross, I have to say, it's great to see fighters willing to do that. You know, go up to weight classes, get the experience. It's another fight maybe before he turns pro. Yeah, yeah. And just get in and out. Exactly, exactly. It's, the sport here is growing. And people in Scotland, not, no disrespect, and they don't realise the talent yeah. that's coming up here now, the south and north, the whole of Ireland as a whole. You know, it's we're, funny we're you mention. Yeah, we're going to yeah. come and be getting them soon. You know what I mean? There's, it's coming up. You've seen that World Championship show. There was guys got injured and they couldn't maybe go on. They could have won. Ball- yeah. Man, you know what I mean? Need people need to watch it out and not sleep in Irish MMA. Yeah. It's funny you mentioned Scotland there because I notice a lot of guys from the north are now going over to promotions yeah. and fighting in Scotland. Amazing. But with flights paid for us, you don't see anybody else getting out there, you know what I mean? That's, that's it. That's helping everybody grow. That's what, that's what martial arts is about. Yeah. It's not about staying with each other. You see people tra- I'm going to AFR, down to DFC, up to train with Mickey Doyle, that's my main club. It's just to get the experience, you know, to help everybody, help the sport grow. I'm, I'm a big lover of MMA. I want the sport to grow, just explode, go massive. Beautiful. I have to use the jiu-jitsu terminology there. I'll give you an oos to finish that off. Thank you very much <laughs> for the time. Very much. See you soon.